What's up guys and welcome to the channel. It's you want to hear from Supwell. Before we head out on this 4th of July long weekend, I wanted to give you an update on everything that's happened this week in the world of performance running shoes from On's latest and greatest marathon racer to the hyped up Adidas Primex Drung V2 leaked pictures. Let's get into it. Hi guys, first up this week, we got the On Cloud Boom Echo 3. It came out from under embargo and we got all the heavy hitters coming out of the woodwork with their reviews this week. Kofuzi, Believe in the Run, Run Testers, etc. From what we can see in the initial reviews, this thing is gonna be amazing. From everything that I've researched so far, this thing is gonna be a bit of a lower profile marathon racing shoe. It has real deal Piba in there, and it has a carbon fiber plate, which Ana's still trying to call their speedboard, which they put in all of their other shoes, but this is looking super promising. Let me pull up some of the quotes here so we can see what those heavy hitters said about it. Kofuzi says, third time's a charm. On has a legit super shoe on its hands. He said the ride was fun and stiff without being too firm. And it also had that low to the ground feeling. Now, I also looked at Believe in the Run. They said that this was On's first real great racer, that it was light, bouncy, and responsive, and it had a lot of potential. And Megan from Believe in the Run said that it was as good as the Alpha Fly one, which is Big praise. Now I'm paraphrasing there, but she said she did a run with one alpha fly on one foot and the cloud boom on the other foot, and she chose to go with the cloud boom for the workout. So that's high praise. One thing to note about the cloud boom that I'm super interested in seeing is, is it gonna be more like a Adidas Takumi Sen where we only really wanna use it for those speed workouts? or shifting more to the Saucony Pro 3 Adidas Pro 3 realm where it is firmer, but we can still use it for longer races like half marathons and marathons. From all the analysis I've seen so far, it seems like it's gonna be a bit more of that Adidas Takumi Sen profile, low to the ground, light, snappy, good for workouts. But I'm excited to get it on my foot maybe next month, and uh, I'll let you guys know where we land on that one. Next up, we have the mock X, which also came out from under embargo this week. So everyone's coming out with their hot takes, first impressions, and initial reviews. Some of the big names that we have reviewing this so far are Alex Feliti. We also have Ben is running, getting out his review as well. So we saw Alex, he called it a fantastic shoe. He did note though that it's a bit of that softer feeling underfoot and he couldn't really feel the plate while you were running, which could be a good thing. It sounds like this is gonna be a bit like the Endorphin Speed 3 from Saucony, where there's that Kiba midsole in there, that super foam, and it's paired with a nylon plate or a plastic plate, but you can't really feel the plate doing too much work. It's just that nice, soft, bouncy, and cushioning foam driving you forward. It seems like this one is gonna be positioned more as a daily trainer to up-tempo type of shoe, not necessarily a racer, but it's great to see another option in the market to compete with the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3, which is the most hyped up and loved shoe of all time, I think, on the running shoe geek subreddit. Direct quote here from Ben is running. He says, this is more of an easy day shoe that I can tempo in. So I think that confirms what we've been thinking about this one, that it's not necessarily gonna be that fastest workout shoe like an Adidas Takumi Sen. It's not gonna be a racer like an Asics Metaspeed Edger Sky or like the Hoka Rocket X2. It's gonna be more of that tweener that you can use for daily training, but you can also rip off fast paces in. And last for this week, we got the Primex Strong V2 new pictures leaking from Adidas. They say it's gonna drop soon, so we should get tons more info, and I'm sure we got all the heavy hitters coming out of the woodwork in a few weeks with their reviews. But for now, we saw the new leaked pictures. It's gonna retain that same fantastic upper as V1. It's gonna retain the same beautiful Adidas Continental rubber outsole as V1, but there's some changes to the midsole. So we see a more aggressive cutout from the forefoot in this, and we also see a puck of it looks like a slightly different foam compound that's in between the top and bottom layers. We know this is gonna be a dual plated racer similar to Hoka's Tecton, but this is the first time we're seeing that dual plate action in a road shoe. So super excited to see when this one comes out. We know it's gonna be that 50 millimeter illegal stack. We've got people breaking records in this thing already, so can't wait for it to hit the market and for us casuals to all get our feet in it. And finally, 
My topic of the week is non-plated running shoes. So every single shoe that I just went through on this list was a plated shoe and this craze has reached a fever pitch. I'm excited to see where brands innovate in the non-plated area. So we're seeing some great options on the market already like the Ultra Vanish Tempo, Topo Athletic Cyclone, and we also have the Brooks Hyperion Max. Those are three options which are designed for fast days, but also to give you a natural feel on your foot and to give a nice, comfortable, simple ride. So I think that's gonna be a segment of the market that's growing through the end of 23 and into 24 as brands continue to pour development dollars there. Let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on non-plated running shoes? What are your thoughts on plated running shoes? Are you excited to add more plays to your collection? Or are you looking to go the more naturalistic route with some of these super foam type shoes that don't have a plate in them? That's all we have for today, folks. Thank you for following the channel, subscribing, and I will keep you up to date on everything going on in the world of performance running footwear.